Welcome. I'm going to teach you about osmosis right now. Osmosis is necessary. Osmosis happens all the time. It's a part of our biology and it is a wonderful thing that happens. And so to just kind of show you a visual, I have here, it's just a bowl of water. And for osmosis to happen in this water, something needs to be put in it that will then disperse throughout the water. Let me just show this principle here. Um, osmotic balance, which is necessary in the body. Um, there's pressure, there's um, salt water, and then there's fresh water. Um, if you're trying to take salt and get a salt water to go more into the fresh water, then what happens is if there's what's called a semi-permeable membrane and today we're going to use a tissue <laughs> because a tissue will let certain things through and certain things it won't. Um, for instance, when I place this in here, there will be water that goes into the tissue and there's only a certain amount of things that this tissue will let through it. If I put something else, like say a sticker, onto it, demonstrating a semi-permeable membrane here, <clears throat> water, water has gone through this. And if we had another side for all of this water to go to, then the water would go into that dish. A semi-permeable membrane will not let something like a sticker go through. It's not going to go through to the water below. It stays on the outside. So that's what semi-permeable means. All over your body you have semi-permeable membranes that are based off of osmosis. And in order to get nutrition into those areas, you have to have something like wheatgrass juice, super nutritious. This is a frozen ice cube version of it. And that needs to go through a semi-permeable membrane. The membrane actually protects you from things that it doesn't want in the body versus things like wheatgrass juice that it definitely does want in the body. And that nutrition <clears throat> can go then into the water. And you'll notice that the water is turning green. So all of the nutrition is going in there. And osmosis, the properties, the, um, the uh, science behind it is you have a high concentration of wheatgrass here and it's just going to keep going into the water until it seeks balance. And this side of the membrane with all the wheatgrass juice on it will be equal in quantities of wheatgrass juice to the opposite side. And so water is going this way, which is balancing and diluting this side, and wheatgrass juice is going this way, <laughs> and you're getting this beautiful green um, juice right here. Can you see the change? That is a demonstration of osmosis and semi-permeable membranes and just know that so many different functions in your body require this and you need the right temperature in the body for this to happen, you need the right amount of water for this to happen, and you also need the right amount of uh, chemicals, chemistry for this to happen and it will happen beautifully all on its own and saturate your tissues with lots of nutrition. Osmosis.